Hi, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Bridge. But everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. And this is what we call Pokemon. This world is widely inhibited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon at times, playing together as friends and at times helping one another out. And sometimes, we just like to have fun battling others like us. But as close as we are, we don't know everything about Pokemon. In fact, there are still many, many mysterious surrounding Pokemon. I do research to try to unravel those Pokemon mysterious, but that's enough about me. What about you? Are you a boy or are you a girl? Well, you can play as a boy or a girl here. Alright, sorry about that. Um, anyways, let's get started with the, the intro. But first, I'm gonna do a boy. Will you give me your name too? Yes. So before that, how's it going everybody? My name is Keaton and welcome to my Let's Play on Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. I am so excited to play this game. I'm gonna be playing through Pokemon Omega Ruby. So this is gonna be my another Pokemon series since we've done through Legends Arceus and Pokemon Sun. So now, time to move on to Omega Ruby. And to start up, I'm gonna enter my name. And I'm gonna name myself the character that I look it up and and a name that I am giving right now is Brendan. Uh so oh <laughs> try hit the enter button. So there we go. So you're Brendan. Yes. Ah, I see. You're that Brendan. You're the one who's moving to Little Root Town, where I live. Are you ready? Your very own adventure is now about to unfold. Be courageous and leap into the world of Pokemon, where dreams and adventures or I expect we're meeting again soon. Okay. <clears throat> I was reading fine, but okay. <clears throat> Oh well. Alright. Let's go out. It looks like we were in a truck. <clears throat> so it tells me here. Alright. So here you are outside. So this is the Little Root Town. Brendan, we're, you're here at last. Wasn't it tough riding in the back of the bumpy moving truck all the way? Well, this is a little root town. What do you think? This is going to be our new home. It has a quaint feel, but it looks like it should be a nice place to live, don't you think? And you get your own room this time, Brendan. Come on, you have to see the inside. Alright. Let's do this. Whoa, we got two machokes. See, Brandon? Isn't it nice in here, too? The moving company's Pokemon even help with the unpacking and cleanup. They really make moving a kinch. Thanks for all the hard work. We really appreciate it. Two Machokes. Thank you for your help. You should go and see your new room upstairs, Brandon. Dad even brought a new clock for it to help celebrate the big move. You'll need to set the time, though. Right. So, okay. So let's get started by coming up to the bedroom here. So, let's see. We got Snorlax. Snorlax doll. Oh! The clock on the wall isn't moving. Got to set the time. Alright. We're gonna do that right now. We're gonna fix it. 
the hour hand was set to 12, and the minute hand to 56. How do you like your new room, Brendan? Good. Everything's put away neatly. They finished moving everything downstairs, too. It really, it really is so nice having Pokemon around to help us. Oh, but you should make sure that everything's all there on your desk. Right. Which, I think it's my notebook or diary. Oh, it's a notebook for our full adventure. So open the menu with the X button and to record the safe progress. Okay, on a bottom screen that I can save. I can save the game if I wanted to. Alright. So let's go ahead and... Uh... Oh, Brendan! Brendan! Quick! Come quickly! Oh, what's up, Mom? It's the Petalburg Gym. Maybe Dad will be on TV. Interviewer. In oh, okay. We brought you this report live from a front of Petal Petalburg Gym. <clears throat> or Petalburg Gym, sorry. Next up, a social look at a long awaited meteor shower in the next star show. Oh, it's already ended. Looks like your dad was on. But we missed his, his part. What a shame. But that reminds me. One of Dad's friends lives in this town. Professor Bridge is his name. He lives right next door, so you should go over and introduce yourself. Alright, I will do that. Thank you, Mom. <clears throat> so the next door, he, uh, she said. Wait, what the? What is that? <laughs> I don't even know why I'm tiptoeing. So, uh, oh, hello, and you are, oh, you're Brendy, our ne new next door neighbor, welcome. We have a daughter about the same as you, same as age as you are. She has been so excited about making a new friend. She should be in her room upstairs, I hope you go introduce yourself. Oh, I will. Let's do this. Hello? <clears throat> oh, hi there. Pokemon fully restore items already and... Huh? Who are you? My name is Brendan. Oh, you must be Brendan. Your move was today, huh? Well, I'm May. Glad to meet you. I, I actually have this dream of becoming friends with Pokemon all over the world. And then when Dad... Oh, I mean, Professor Bridge told me about you moving here, Brendan. Well, I was hoping you would be nice and we could be friends. But that's just silly, isn't it? I've just met you, right, Brendan? So what am I talking about? Hehe. <laughs> oh no, I forgot! I was supposed to be going out to help Dad catch some wild Pokemon. Brendan, I'll see you later! Okay. Well, I'm going- I'm going out anyways. I'm just gonna be going out anyways. Uh, let's see here. I think it's... Oh. Oh, there. Is this it? Yes, it is. It looks like an office. Oh, Alright, let's talk to the... Let's, I'm gonna talk to you. Huh? You're looking for Poke for Professor Bridge? The proof's away on field... Uh, what is it? The probes away on field work. Ergo, not here. Oh, I guess I have to tell you what field work is. Field work is when you study things in their natural environments, like out in the fields and mountains instead of a laboratory. The proof isn't one of doing desk work, really. He's the type who would rather go outside and experience things than read about them here. He's probably doing a survey on of route oh, um, 101 now. It's just outside of a town. Okay. Thank you. It's all from the outside. I think I hear someone screaming up ahead. What should I do? What should we do? Someone has got to be, someone has to go to help. Help me. Oh, it must be the professor. Running from the Pokémon. Hello, you over there. Please help me out. In my bag, there are some Pokeballs. 
Okay. Can I get it? Okay. Oh, look at that. Choose a Pokemon. Okay. Let's see here. We got Torhik, Triakko, and Mudkip. We could choose which Pokemon, whatever we want. So I'm gonna do uh, Triakko. Yes. Okay. So to start off with the first episode... Alright, let's do the... let's see, Absorb? Uh... I'll do Pound first. Whoa! Did not expect that damage here. Use Tackle. Ouch. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna do Absorb. Uh, I'll just use Absorb again. There we go. There we go. Phew! I went into the tall grass to survey wild Pokemon when I was suddenly jumped. You saved my hide, thanks a lot. Oh? You're Norman's boy, Brendan. I didn't even realize who you were at first. You've grown into quite the young man. This isn't a place for a chat, though. Come along to my lab. Right behind you. In the uh, office. So, Brendan. I've heard so much about you from your father. But he said that you don't have your own Pokemon yet. If that's true, that was quite the performance back there. Looks like you really are your father's son. Oh yes, to say thanks for rescuing me out there, how about I give you that Pokemon you used earlier? And we see Trico. Thank you. While you're at it, why not give a nickname to that Trico? No, thank you. Oh. So that's how you like to do things. Not even going to give a nickname, are you? You know, if you work with your Pokemon and gain experience, I think you'll make a pretty excellent trainer. My girl, May, happens to be out on Route 103, right? Now, serving Pokemon for me. It might not be a bad idea for you to think uh, to head out that way yourself. What do you think? Uh, I'm gonna say yes. Great, I'm sure May will be happy to hear that too. She can help teach you what it means to be a trainer. Oh yes, and if you're ever lost along the way, use the area nav on your PokéNav Plus. You can use it to see how to get to Route 103, where May ought it to be. And if you or your Pokémon get tired, get some rest back at your new house. Alright, I will. So thank you so much for the Pokémon, Toriko. So that's nice. Yeah. Now I got a now I got a Pokemon. I'm gonna go inside the house. I'll go and talk to mom. You feeling okay, Brendan? You look a little tired. I think you should rest a bit. Oh. Now take care out there, honey. Wow, thank you so much. That's actually a good start here. I'm actually glad I did that because you know. We're gonna need, because I just want to be sure my Pokemon is healed up. Alright, well. First battle. Rump, rump, We're gonna use Pound. Well, good thing and good thing didn't hurt me. Use pound again. Ouch. All right, absorb. All 
Oh, not very effective? I didn't know. I probably should have just stick with Pound. Whoa! Trico grew to level 6! That's awesome. Well, that's pretty awesome. Oh, I just jump off. But you know what? Hey, it's fine because I already battled with my Pokemon. I mean, I already battled, so I might want it to heal up again. So, hi, Mom. Uh, yes, I do feel a bit tired. Can I have my Pokemon healed up, please? Thank you so much. So, I apologize that my camera gets out of focus for some reason. Um, it's right now, this is the best I could do to record. All right. Zigzagoon is what we're going to be fighting with today. Pound, or use pound. Okay. Not so bad. Or use pound again. Whoa, it came this close. But you know what? This is actually perfect like this. Now I can absorb. There we go. Alright, that's pretty nice here actually. I don't know what's up over there. Old Dale Town. Hi there, I work at the Pokemon. From what I can see, you're a novice trainer, am I right? Okay. Being super kind-hearted as I am, I'm going to give you useful advice. First of all, that's a Pokemon. They just look for our blue roof. We sell a variety of goods, including Pokeballs, for catching Pokemon. I like to have these as part of a special promotion. Oh, and she gives us a potion. Thank you. Potions can be used anytime, so they can be very useful to have. And what is this one that you're showing me right now? And this is a Pokemon Center. Look for a red roof. Ask a woman inside and she'll restore your Pokemon's health. That's it. That was the advice for me, the supremely kind-hearted clerk. Have a great journey. Thank you. I did have my mom healed up my Pokemon by taking a nap, so thanks to her for that. So now we're going to have a Pokemon Center that can help uh, heal up my Pokemon. So, Hello and welcome to the Pokemon Center. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Yes. Yes, please. Okay, I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds then. Thank you for waiting. We've restored your Pokemon to full health. We hope to see you again. Alright. So yeah, this is actually pretty cool. Oh, excuse me. Let me try. This actually looks pretty cool here, because, you know, um... You know, we're just gonna be exploring around here. Uh, maybe go this way? Oh, yes. Wait! Please don't wander around here! I've just discovered a set of incredibly rare Pokémon prints. Wait until I finish sketching them, okay? Okay. We'll just go the other way, which is fine, because I think we're sp here we are, one, 103. But either way, I think we're supposed to find, like, May. Which I'm seeing her right now. Hi, May. <clears throat> I'm right behind you. Let's see. On Route 103, I found this Pokemon. And this one. And this one, too. Oh, hey, Brendan. What's that? Oh, my dad gave you a Pokemon as a gift, huh? Well then, why don't we go ahead and have a quick battle? I'll give you a taste of what being a trainer is really like. Okay, so we're gonna be- so we're gonna battle with May. So she's gonna send out Torchic. Is that how you say it? Forgive me for saying the name wrong. Well, I could bring out Trico.
All right, I'm gonna do pound. Critical hit. Oh, ouch. I'll do pound again. Oh, jeez. Uh, I'm gonna do absorb. Uh-oh. This doesn't look good at all. Uh-oh. Hold on, use pound. Okay, that was okay, that was a close call here. Alright, group to level 7 for Tariko. Yay! Wow, that's great, Brendan. You're pretty good. And received 200 money winning. <clears throat> it was a good battle, thanks. Let me heal up both your, our parties real quick. Thank you. Wow. I think I know why my dad has his eyes on eye on you now. I mean, you just got that Pokemon and you've already got that strong of a bond. I bet you could probably befriend any kind of Pokemon you meet. Phew, I guess I better head back to the lab. Okay. So I think we're supposed to like I don't know. Maybe we'll I guess we should go catch up with her. At the, the Pokemon Lab. Oh, hi, mate. Brendan, over here. Let's hurry back to the little roof. Okay, I'm right behind you. Alright, this way. As I'm just gonna be, you know, just keep on running down. Alright, it's this one. Oh, Brendan, over here. So I hear you beat May on your first try. That's amazing. may has been helping with my research for a long time. So she has a pretty long history as a trainer already. Mm -hmm. I think that settles it. Brendan, I ordered this Pokedex for my research, but I think you should take it. And we got ourselves a Pokedex. That Pokédex is a high-touch tool that automatically makes a record of any Pokémon you meet or catch. My girl, May, takes hers with her everywhere she goes. Whenever she catches a rare Pokémon and records in its data in the Pokédex, why she comes to seek me out wherever I am in the field and show me. The Pokémon and people you will meet in the great expanse of nature that lies before you. Experience them both while you fill in the Pokédex. I'd love it if your world seemed wider than ever. So, I'd love it more, even more, if you came back from time to time to show me what progress you made. I'm getting the itch to get out of and do field work again. Oh wow, Brendan. Now, you, now you've got a Pokédex too. That's great, just like me. Then here, I'll give you something too. Some Pokéballs that you can use to catch wild Pokémon. And we got ourselves a Pokéball. If you catch a Pokemon in the wild and battle together with it for a while, it will go stronger for you. Take that as a bit of advice from a more experienced trainer like me. I'm going to get ready to head out from Little Root soon myself. I can't wait to see what kind of Pokemon I'm going to meet. Let's both do our best on our journeys, Brendan. Right. Thank you. I'll make sure to remember this. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. Now we have our... Brendan, wait! Oh, yeah? Uh, what's going on? Oh, it's Mom! Brendan, Brendan! Did you, did you introduce yourself to Professor Bridge? Oh, what an adorable Pokémon! You got it from the Professor? How nice! You are your father's child, alright? You look good together with a Pokémon. Do you think that you have your very own Pokémon now? Your father will be overjoyed. But don't push yourself too hard. If anything happens, you can always come home, honey. Uh, 
All right. Thank you, Mom. And I promise I will. Wait. And I promise I will make sure not to push my Pokemon too hard. Brendan. Oh yes. This is from my dad. He said he forgot to give it to you before. Oh, Pokenave Plus. The app I just added to your Pokenave Plus is called the Dexnave. It can tell you lots about the Pokemon living in each area and that kind of stuff. It's a handy app to have if you're trying to catch lots of different Pokemon. Alright, guess it's about time. I used the Dexnave to do some random Pokemon catching myself. Brendan, you should use those Pokeballs. I gave you earlier to do a bit of a catching too. Alright, before that, give me a second. Okay, I'm back. I am sorry about that. So, um, okay. So there are, like, Pokemons around here. Oh, good timing. Because right now we're gonna do battle. Oh, we got Zigzagoon. I'll battle it, and then I'll catch it. Alright, let me see. What's this bag? Pokeballs? Okay, I only have 10, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that weight. So I'm gonna do pound right now. Ouch. Oh, dang it, I thought it would be at the red HP. I mean, I guess it's okay because, well, um, you know, my, my, po you know, my Pokeball, you know, I'm gonna level up, uh, Trico anyways. Brendan, over here! See that? Right there? There's a tail sticking out. There's a Pokemon hiding there. And look here, if you check your Dex, Dave, alright, looks like that Pokemon knows a pretty rare move too. Brendan, try getting close real nice and slow. Push lightly on the circle pad to sneak close to Pokemon hiding in the grass. That's what it said in a book I read. You're almost there. Slowly. Slowly. Remember, you press lightly on the circle pad to sneak. Okay, like this. Alright. Now I'm in a battle. Puchinia. Let's see if I can catch it after battle. So let me do I'm gonna do another round of pound. Alright, do another pound. Okay. Ouch. I guess that looks good. Alright, let's see if I can catch it. Pokeball, go! Yes! I caught Pujinya! And now, Trico grew to level 8. Now we register that to our Pokédex. Pujinya. Nice. It's a female. Nope, I'm not going to give her a nickname. Or, you know what? I guess talk to you. That was amazing, Brendan! I've been at this way longer than you, and even I have a hard time sneaking up like that without even not being noticed. Yeah. Uh, anything else you want to say? Okay, she just says the same thing, okay. Uh, nope, sorry, I didn't mean to talk to you. Um, I don't know. Okay, I'm back, so I think 
I think we're supposed to go back to Odeo Town. And... Alright. Yes, I would like to have my Pokemon rest, please. Yeah. Have two Pokemon heal. Alright, thank you. Now I got my Pokemons healed up. Um... Yeah. So with that... I'm gonna go ahead and end this end this episode here. So and this is gonna be so this is our first episode of my let's play Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, which I'm playing Pokemon Omega Ruby. So um, yeah, next time we'll we'll continue on. We'll probably make our way to who knows maybe Petalburg City. Who knows? So if you guys do enjoy this first episode, please do me a favor, drop a like for this video. If you're new to my channel and haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button to turn on notification bell so y'all can be notified. Feel free to leave a comment down below, and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye!